Good evening students. We are going to discuss the discuss of the Lorentz force, especially magnetostatic force. Lorentz force is the sum of electrostatic and magnetostatic force. And the magnetostatic force F is equal to Q V cross B. V cross B uh, Q V cross B and then the direction we already discussed. Then the important title points we will discuss. If the charged particle is at stationary, uh, then the magnetostatic force F is equal to 0. V0 is F0. Then the point we will consider is the charged particle is moving parallel to the direction of the magnetic field, then the magnetostatic force will be also 0. The third point, F is equal to Q V cross B. So, it will be maximum when V is perpendicular to B. So, F will be modulus vector F is equal to QVB sin 90 is equal to QVB. This is the expression. Now, we magnetostatic force and the magnetostatic force and the behavior we discuss is the electrostatic force in the stationary charge. In the magnetostatic force, it will appear only for moving charges. And at the the point we will discuss is the magnetostatic force in the work done. The point, work done. by the magnetostatic force suppose a charged particle is moving in this direction and suppose you apply the magnetic field in this direction and let it takes an angle theta with a b charged particle in e e direction move on, move on. so force will be q V cross B, magnetostatic force. Now, we have work done. Magnetostatic force is work done. Suppose the charged particle, if you have a Q, the charged particle movie. a particular point, you can move a movie. If you have a DL distance, in this direction, movie. Suppose the charged particle. Suppose the charged particle is displaced by d vectorial at a time dt. dt is a dt is a dl displacement on and down angle. You can write dl is equal to d vectorial is equal to v dt velocity into time one displacement in the way so work done in the way work done corresponding work done will be dw num kodaka f dot dl work done by the magnetostatic force so that will be equal to q into v cross b dot vector v dot vector v this is vector dl, vector v dt. So, v cross b in the way, it is perpendicular to a plane containing both v and b. v kim, b kim perpendicular. So, v cross b in v in the middle angle in the way, theta will be equal to uh, 90 degree. So, cos 90 is 0. So, the work done dw is equal to 0. That means the magnetostatic force does not make any work or work done by the magnetostatic force. DW is equal to F dot DL that will equal to Q V cross B dot V DT that is equal to 0. That is work done by the magnetostatic force work done by the magnetostatic force 
work done by the magnetostatic force is zero. So, one magnetostatic force in the uh, work done in the way of the zero element. In the first place, the charge of particle is magnetostatic force is in the way of the charge. Charged particle move in the direction of perpendicular right -line direction. Perpendicular right -line direction is force acting the corresponding work done will be zero. It will be equal to F dot dl. That is work done zero. So it is a very important point. Magnetostatic force denote work. It is very important. Work done by the magnetostatic force is zero. Magneto Static force do not work. It's a very important relation. This is further right like I need it. I will show you the discuss in the idea. Calcala is clear. I wish you know. Then we are going to discuss some fundamental concepts that we have missed uh, during our class. We have already derived, uh, defined what is B. We will discuss it now. B is a unit on the idiom. Unit of magnetic flux density. It is defined as Tesla. Usually, we will T in the symbol on the present year. We will define Tesla. We will define magnetostatic force F is equal to uh, QV cross B in the middle QVB represent here if theta is 90 degree and QVB in the middle so B is equal to F by QV dimensionally no come F by QV F no arnyal force no arnyal Newton ana in the unit charge in the unit Columb ana V is the way another meter second raise to minus one. So Newton meter by Newton second by Coulomb meter. This is one Tesla in the way. So one Tesla is defined like that. It is the four if the magnetic force experienced. By a charge, if the mag magnetostatic force B is equal to force experienced for one Coulomb of charge, which is moving with a velocity. One meter per second. So it is the magnetostatic force experienced for one coulomb of charge. Magnitude right uh, angle perpendicular to the direction of B magnetic field in the lady represent here. Magnetic field direction lay uh one tesla defined in the Newton second per Coulomb meter, SI unit of B is Tesla T, or an symbol on it, or you can it represented as Weber per meter square. Weber is the unit of flux, Weber per go, one Tesla is one. Weber per meter square. This is SI unit we have already discussed. And then, this Tesla is a huge unit. One Tesla is a huge magnetic field. The Earth magnetic field is the
horizontal component BH no rain the point three eight into ten raised to minus four Tesla. Oh, normally number Tesla ki magaram where unit represent yar under that is equal ten raised to one Tesla is ten raised to minus sorry one goes is 10 raised to minus 4 Tesla. So BH is equal to 0.38 Gauss. In the name represent here. Gauss is the very unit. The magnitude of the unit is the very unit. The very unit is the very unit. The very unit is the very unit. Normally, we will see the magnitude of the unit. We will see the magnitude of the unit. We will see the magnitude of the unit. Magnetic field, the magnetic material and the magnetic field is the neutron star and the earth is the comparison of the magnetic field. We have to do the comparison of the magnetic field and the magnetic field and the strength normally. We have to do the practical applications. We have to consider that. Sorry. Flux density of surface of a neutron star. The surface of neutron star. It is a in Tesla and I'm representing the 10 raised to 8 Tesla. And number lab in a laboratory like a maximum view we can one Tesla again. One bar magnet, in the lab, we have a bar magnet in the magnetic field in the order of 10 raised to minus 2 Tesla. Earth surface, we have already discussed, around 10 raised to minus 5 Tesla. And for human nerve, Human nerve, it is 10 raised to minus 10. So just a quick examples in the material. One material, a neutron star is a very huge magnetic field. In the laboratory, we have a maximum of magnetic field and strength. Conventionally, we have a maximum of magnetic field and strength. One test is not the approach. One bar magnet is a bar magnet. You can use a bar magnet in the degree of the bar magnet in the magnetic field. Uh, that in the magnetic field around 10 raised to minus 2 and the earth magnetic field is much lower it is 10 raised to minus 5 tesla and human nerve is very low it is 10 raised to minus 10 tesla so these are some examples Uru magnetic field and a magnetic field in the unit and the practical applications like a magnetic field range discuss it it is not clearly specified in Griffith, but you can uh, get this information from NCRT textbooks. Now, what is the important title? Cyclotron. Cyclotron. Cyclotron, we have a particle accelerator. Right? We have a cyclotron concept. We have a working principle. We have a experimental setup in plus two level. We have a concept of magnetostatics. We have a particle accelerator in detail. We have a principle of cyclotron. Samsari ke nada. Cyclotron lalu orang ini ada dua inginnya lalu DC lalu. Ini DC korang charge lalu partikel movie ini picu orang dek magnetic field lalu korang tu orang charge partikel lalu movie itu orang dek. Adanya accelerate ini lalu beri beri orang nama lalu ini nada. Adanya details lagi yang kita kena niya. Kenapa orang cyclotron lalu prinsip lalu nama cyclotron form lalu nama orang nama matra mana. Nama lalu garis garis ini nada. Apa nama lalu orang samsari ke nada. Suppose a charged particle, suppose 
a charged particle is moving at right angles to an external magnetic field vector b charge particle la charge nu parayunnathu q aanu nammal ivide consider cheyyu appo adu engena namukku discuss cheyyam appo nammal ivide consider cheyan povunnathu nammal oru cartesian coordinate system eduthu suppose this is z axis this is x axis this is y axis Suppose the magnetic field is applied in this direction. Then magnetic field in the direction in any angle. Suppose the charged particle is moving at right angles to external magnetic field. For the time being, नमक charged particle इंगर मूवी इन्होंने यार जो that means when the charged particle is moving at right angles to external magnetic field. For the time being, नमक charged particle इंगर मूवी इन्होंने यार जो that means vector v q on charge vector v is equal to v into j cap that means this direction is j cap this direction is i cap and this direction is k cap so the char suppose the charged particle is moving in this direction initially and here b is vector b is b into k cap So, what is the magnetic force? F is equal to Q into vector V cross B. Right hand screw rule which you guys can do. Okay. Alangili, if we take a more and do it, we get Q into V J cap cross B K cap. So, Q V B into J cross K. J cross K is I I cap. That means the in this case. The magnetic force in this direction. Charged particle, you know what I mean? If you are a charged particle, you know what I mean? Here, turn down the case. Case two. Vector V is equal to V I cap. Vector B is equal to B K cap. So F is equal to Q V cross B is equal to Q into V I cross B K, so that is equal to Q V B into I cross K is minus J. Minus J means the direction of force in this direction. Towards again towards the center of the center of the coordinate system. इनी चार्ज पार्टिकल इंगेने आना मूवी इन्हें नियर चु. ये बड़ा केस थ्री. Case three. अब वेक्टर v is equal to v my minus v minus v j k. Correct है ना? वेक्टर b is equal to b k k. So वेक्टर f is equal to q v cross b magnetostatic force that is equal to q v b. कारण हम इधर क्या Angle between V and B is 90 degree. Q V B sine 90 and over here. Put a minus minus J cross K is equal to minus Q V B I cap. That means in this case the magnetostatic force F is in this direction. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? You know what I mean? So we have to in general, you know. और चार्ज पार्टिकल ने सपोज ई बोर्ड ने पर्पन्डिकुलर आईट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंगे कोर्तु नी याचो अब मैग्नेटोस्टैटिक फोर्स के चार्ज पार्टिकल इंगे मूव ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ इंगे मूव ചെയ്താൽ ഇവിടെ पूरा जो डॉट ഇട്ട് ഞാൻ b ടെ ഡയറക്ഷൻ റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്തേക്കാണ് അപ്പ ഇനിഷ്യലി ഇവിടെ ചാർജ് പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് അപ്പ മാഗ്നെറ്റോസ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് ഫോഴ്സ് ഇങ്ങനെയായിരിക്കും ഈ പോയിന്റ് എടുത്
it will be v cross b sin 90 again v ingeni aanu magnetostatic force ingeni irik ee sen edu point vaan ingeni eduthal eppozhum towards the center aayirikum center of the circle ungal oru imaginary circle imagine cheyyanengil appo ivada v ra direction ingane ivada v ra direction ingane appo ivada oru arbitrary v ingane consider cheya ിൽസ്റ്റിക്സ് that means out of the plane so if the magnetic if the charged particle is moving at a right angle to a magnetic field then always the magnetostatic force uh, will be always towards the center apo idu oru centripetal force aanu nathu centripetal force oru charged particle oru magnetic field in direction ipo nammal varane ledanamayittu parayanengil oru മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡിന്റെ ഡയറക്ഷൻ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡിന് പെർപെൻഡിക്കുലർ ആയിട്ട് ഒരു ചാർജഡ് പാർട്ടിക്കൾ മൂവ് ചെയ്താൽ ആ ചാർജഡ് പാർട്ടിക്കൾ അതിന് ചുറ്റും ഒരു സർക്കുലർ പാത്ത് ട്രേസ് ചെയ്ത് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ മൂവ് അറൌണ്ട് എ സർക്കിൾ ഇതാണ് നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ നമുക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ കൺക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യാം ഇഫ് എ ചാർജഡ് പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ charged particle is moving at right angles moving at right angles to the magnetic field the particle executes the particle execute executes a centripetal centripetal means center seeking towards the center centripetal force particle execute a uh, particle execute a circular motion a circular motion particle execute a circular motion and the magnetic force and the magnetic force is centripetal centripetal force so the magnetic force is centripetal and particle execute a circular motion apo oru മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡിന്റെ ഡയറക്ഷനിൽ പെർപെൻഡിക്കുലർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഡയറക്ഷനിൽ ഒരു ചാർജ്ഡ് പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ മൂവ് ചെയ്താൽ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ദ ട്രജക്ടറി ഓഫ് ദ ചാർജ്ഡ് പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ വിൽ ബി എ സർക്കുലർ സർക്കിൾ പെർപെൻഡിക്കുലർ ടു ദ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഇതാണ് ഇതിന്റെ കൺക്ലൂഷൻ ഈ ഒരു ബിഹേവിയറിനെയാണ് സച്ച് എ മോഷൻ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് സൈക്ലോട്രോൺ മോഷൻ സച്ച് എ മോഷൻ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് സൈക്ലോട്രോൺ മോഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നു സോ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു സൈക്ലോട്രോൺ മോഷൻ ഉണ്ടാവുമ്പോ നമുക്കറിയാം സെൻട്രി പെറ്റൽ ഫോഴ്സ് നമ്മൾ ഒരു വി ഒരു സർക്കുലർ പാത നമ്മൾ കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ പാർട്ടിക്കിളിൻ്റെ സ്പീഡ് വിയും സർക്കുലർ പാത്തിൻ്റെ റേഡിയസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആറും ആണെങ്കിൽ ഈ പാർട്ടിക്കിളിൻ്റെ മാസ് എം ആണെങ്കിൽ സെൻട്രി പെട്രൽ ഫോഴ്സ് നമ്മൾ എം വി സ്ക്വയർ ബൈ ആർ എന്നാണ് ഇത് ഇവിടെ ക്യു വി ക്രോസ് ബി വരും ആ സെൻട്രി പെട്രൽ ഫോഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മാഗ്നറ്റോസ്റ്റാറ്റിക് ഫോഴ്സ് ആണ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ക്യു വി ബി സൈൻ നയൻറ്റി വിയും ബിയും പെർപെൻഡിക്കുലർ ആണ് 
So QVB. It is equal to QVB. So MV square by R is equal to QVB. Clear. This is the cyclotron formula. We will conclude this. We will get the V is equal to omega cross R. Omega R is mutually perpendicular. R is omega. So, m is m into r square omega square by r is equal to q r omega b. We are in the same way. So, r is equal to So, omega is equal to qb by m. Omega square, e omega square, power, e omega in metri poi. So, in general, omega is equal to qb by m. E particle execute in the circular path in the circular path in the particle execute in the value. Omega is called the angular frequency. Angular frequency. And it is equal to QB by M. Now, we will the period of motion. Period T is equal to 2 pi by omega. So, 2 pi M by QB. This is the sendry pattern. This is cyclotron. Cyclotron particle in the period. The frequency in the period. Frequency F is equal to 1 by T is equal to QB by 2 pi. This is the frequency of the cyclotron particle. This is the conclusion. This is the first thing we have to do with the first thing. A period in the brain that is independent of, this period is independent of the velocity of the charge particle. Here, the period T is independent of velocity of the charge particle. Now, I am going to tell you, now, this is very important concept. Now, we will say that a circular path, the charged particle will move in the magnetic field in the perpendicular right direction. The trajectory of the charged particle will be a circle. The trajectory will be a circle. Very important relation. Trajectory of the charged particle will be a circle. इधर आना तो हम लोग डेट प्रधान बटा वो जो concept है ना बारे इन्हें डेट that force is centripetal force and this is the cyclo period of the charged particle moving at right angles to the magnetic field executing cyclotron path. So cyclotron path ना रहेंगे तो circular path है ना अदर frequency की expression इधर. So वो जो point है इन्हें बारे इन्हें suppose the charged particle is not exactly is not moving exactly perpendicular to the magnetic field. अंगने आने के लिए m दाय देखिए path. If the charged particle is not moving Exactly perpendicular to the magnetic field. For magnetic fielding in the air show, magnetic fielding in the air here. Yes, this magnetic field is in this direction. And suppose the charged particle is moving in this direction. 
not exactly perpendicular theta theta is less than 90 degree nu yarikya not exactly theta is not equal to 90 degree aanu nu yarikya idana charged particle ude direction appo namukku oru kaaryam cheyam indine rendu component aayittu resolve cheyam Perpendicular right to direction is on it. Now V perpendicular nor in the V parallel. Okay, V parallel direction in here. V parallel. Nor in just you resolve vector V into two components v parallel and v perpendicular v parallel means component of v vector v parallel to b and v perpendicular is the component of b component of v velocity vector perpendicular to the magnetic field appo nammal ee velocity vector ne randayittu resolve edu magnetic field inde direction ulla velocity vector magnetic field inde perpendicular aayittla direction ulla appo onnu v parallel nu parayunnathu v cos theta varum just resolve into two and this is v sin theta nu varum so v parallel is v cos theta and v perpendicular is equal to v sin theta namukku ariya or charged particle magnetic field ne perpendicular right to move, move edal it will execute a circular path circular path undakum ennu namukku ariya appo due to the ibade not at right angle allathu konde rendu rendu direction component undu so due to the perpendicular component due to the presence of v perpendicular that means the perpendicular component charged particle will try to move in a circular path okay for cyclotron motion that can पक्षे अट्ठे